Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I am going to be doing your weekly read. So we're going to be doing it for the week of the 12th, well starting today, or I should say the 13th to the 19th. Right up to the new moon in Pisces. Yes, we're going into our new moon. Also, um, uh, next week is the beginning of our time, isn't it Pisces? Yes, yes. And Jane as well. She's an early Pisces, so um, my birthday is quickly coming uh, 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 soon, soon. Um, always excited for another birthday. Always grateful that I'm still here. So, um, I'm going to be pulling from the Good Tarot and also the Mystical Shaman. Um, so, they're both decks by uh, Colette Baron Reed, and I'm excited to use them both. So I break them up in different days. The work you need to do, the spiritual help, the block, how the past is affecting you, the magic, and the final roundup for what you can take away with you. Okay? Your takeaway. So, and I do two readings every day, Pisces. So if that interests you, please make sure to subscribe. Ooh, Ace of Fire. Nice. So, inspiration is going to hit you this week, Pisces. Let's see what the second card comes in. Come in with this beautiful Ace of Fire. The Medicine Wheel, 35, 8. Eight's a number of working hard. I like that. Quality work. Good work. Let's see. You've got a lot of spirit animals in this one. You have the hummingbird. Uh, looks like you have a cat of some sort. Looks like you have an eagle with wings. You also have a snake. There's a lot going on in this card. So it's for the four cardinal directions are well marked. It represents the cycle of life, the cycle of nature, and the circular pattern of our cosmos. It's been used for millennia in indigenous cultures to bring harmony and well-being to the village. Its direction symbolize the four steps the shaman takes to become a person of power and wisdom. So gorgeous. I feel, yeah... The work this week is still very much about you going on your path, your the path that you've chosen for yourself, Pisces, okay? In February, it's all about finding your personal direction, okay? It's about, like if I wrote here, it's, um, it's confusion clearing up and opportunities for fulfillment beginning. So it's absolutely what's happening with you here as well this week. You're getting the spark of inspiration to come in and to help you begin and have the energy to create what you want. And with the medicine wheel, I feel that you have the four elements represented by the animals here. You have the wheel of fortune coming in and you have the number eight, which is saying you've got some really good quality work to meet your objectives here. So you have the spark, the flame, the passion to do it, and the tools to do it with. So it's going to be some really fun energy for work this week. Because you might feel very accomplished by what you're doing, which is always a good thing to have. A week of a feeling like you've actually accomplished a lot, that a lot is coming in for you. Messenger of fire in reverse. I feel that's like meeting your 
um, obstacles, right? The messenger fires the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is somebody who is like, who, who meets challenges head on. The Gatherer, 21-3, yeah. Um, I feel you're past the, the point of looking, always looking for the challenge. You want, you do want the adventure, but because it's in reverse, I feel that you're more in the sense like Gatherer. You're more in a sense of like, you want to make sure that you have everything you need. And it's not out of fear. It's more out of knowing that it's better to be more prepared before you go rushing in. Okay, the Knight of Wands, he's somebody who goes rushing in without thinking of things. He's very close to uh, linked, I feel like, the Knight of Swords. I feel these two would clash if they, if they were together because um, they have really... they move at really fast speeds and they're risk takers, right? And sometimes they value the adventure over the common sense of it. And I feel that the common sense is here, right here. The gatherer is saying like it's the person who's going, I'm going to go on this adventure, most definitely, because the card came out. I know I'm on an adventure, but I'm going to gather what I need to do this. And that's not being, that's not being a wet blanket over the situation. It's more being somebody who is, whose eyes are wide open, is, is what I feel like saying. I feel like you are more, you're hyper aware of what's going on. And that's maybe what Spirit's trying to say with the spiritual tips. Don't go rushing in too far, too fast. Make sure that you have all you need before you take off. Okay? So... A lot of fire though here still. Fire energy. You have the Earth Keeper and the Crow. You're definitely going on a brand new journey. This is the day, this is the, the cards of, of the block. The horn right away was speaking to me. As soon as I saw the full card, I kept thinking, somebody's tooting their horn, tooting the horn to let people know that they're actually going on a new journey. And I feel the crows coming in for that same reason, saying, you know, doo -doo -doo -doo, I'm going, I'm, I'm going on a new journey. I feel that you've been announcing this for a while. I feel that you have been saying that for quite a while. And maybe that's the block. Maybe it's saying and not doing. And maybe that is what is stopping you. And the Earth Keeper is giving, because it's Earth, right? And Earth bound. I'm feeling like the, I feel like still something is holding you back. You're grounded. You're there. Okay? You feel very responsible for the well-being of the situation. Okay? You've been so dedicated to holding the line so that it didn't, you know, it didn't, you didn't shake anything up too much. 
to have like something so um, I feel like not to upset the apple cart that you choose to hold in time okay I really feel that's what um, that you're starting to outgrow this stuff that you don't want to be part of this anymore okay you you actually want to go forward but this is talking about the block that's been going so far and just the bird the squawking I can hear the crow squawk squawk it's almost like you've told yourself so long but you haven't gone forward that it's kind of like I don't know if you even believe yourself anymore, right? You're saying I'm gonna I'm gonna yes, I'm on the I'm on the the edge of something new, but it's like it's not happening. Because you're holding pattern with this this earth keeper. It's that that per pattern of being the one in charge of of making sure everything is is okay. It's like saying I'm going to make sure everybody else is okay before I go on my own adventure. So just, you know, hold that thought. <laughs> We're going to come back and explore those. Next up is, how is your past affecting you? Now, since it fell, I'm not too sure if it's upright or in reverse. Wouldn't be a, a week of Valentine's if love didn't come out, right? We'll let the card speak for itself. We'll let it do its its thing. Oh, you get the beloved underneath. I'm going to take it, but I really, really... I, I feel like it all has to do with love. We had self-worth this morning and the other reading. Right. And soul retrieval is coming in here. I do feel, Pisces, that... That a lot of this is that reconnecting with what's important to you. Okay? It is really reconnecting with the love part of yourself. I feel that if you're here, if you've gone through this journey, you've more likely um, lost part of yourself. Trying to help others sometimes. Trying to walk around on eggshells. That's what I feel here. In regards to love, people that you love, that you've forgiven could be parents. Parents sometimes, you know, we we forgive parents for a very long time when we're young because we love our parents, right? We give them a lot of passes, a lot of chances um, to screw up, and we do it over and over again. Um, it doesn't matter if you're 80 now. It doesn't matter if you're 70. We still have that. We still hold that stuff within us, right? So, I think it's... And this, is, I feel, is love of the self. And I said I was going to do love reading this week for uh, Valentine's Day for the self. And this is all about that. I feel this is recovering that part of the self that you've lost love for, that maybe you just forgot to love. And the soul retrieval is that part. You're retrieving that part that is so important to you, the part that's been lost. You're recovering your energy, your enthusiasm, your innocence that may have been lost. Okay? It's time to heal those wounds. It's time to recover your original nature. Your own special love. True love of self. And you'll feel it. You'll feel it when you do. Because there won't be a corner of you that it won't touch. Okay, that's all I have to say.
That's all I have to say for that. We're going to look at that, of course. All these cards are going to be looked at, so if that interests you, please make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, say hi. Hi, I'm new. Hi, I'm returning. And, of course, all of you always, um, always comment. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Your support means so much. It's literally the survival of this channel, so I, you know, you're special. I know a lot of you say I do a lot for you. You do a lot for me. You do a lot for me. It's reciprocated. Just know that I feel that way. Your magic, the Queen of Earth, and the Ancient Ones. Wow. Yeah, I feel very old energy in this uh, configuration, the Queen of Earth. I feel like a very old, knowing, nurturing, beautiful energy. Because the Queen of Pentacles, she's all about nurture. She's all about... Um, it's weird because I feel that she has a very weird, a, a very true connection to the Queen of Cups, as in the Queen of Cups is the Queen of Hearts. But I feel in some cases the Queen of Earth has got, she's that mothering, that mother you need, right? The mothering of their soul, and um, I feel that you should lean back the ancient ones. I'm feeling like they're saying tap into the mothers of before. Like tap into the feminine energy of before. The one that nurtured the planet to help nurture your soul. It's actually what I'm feeling. I feel like an ancient energy coming in right now and you have access to it. Beautiful Pisces. This is in your magic. This is in your, in your thing. She will bring in the beautiful feminine love energy, that yin energy that you may be craving this week, the love of self, okay, and I'm talking for you guys as well, okay, I don't care if you're in a relationship with somebody or you're not, it's important that you feel how much love there is in your energy that can feed you, um, it's it's a replenishing energy that never runs out. You never are hungry again. Okay, it's like, it's, it's something that you always have access to, that you can tap into. And it makes you feel whole and wonderful. So this is coming in this week, so it's beautiful energy. Beautiful energy for you on Valentine's Day week. Okay? We're not only going to... Um, for some of us, have the holiday where, you know, hey, I love you, sending a card, a friend goes, you want to be my valentine, a loved one, you know, does the, the, the precursors all to that, you know, but you're going to, if you let this, if you do this this week, you're going to feel such, something a lot more profound, like the love of self, of energy, of ancestral, beautiful, feminine energy coming in to nurture the soul. Ugh. There's there's nothing. Those resources are awesome. So, I hope to see you in this journey this week. I hope you decide to, to stick with me this week. All right, and... For your roundup, the seven of earth, that beautiful seven, assessing, changing. See, even, even Valentine's Day week is going to feel different this year. Because you're assessing things in a different way. Love is going to come from inside out. It's nothing you're going to ask to receive. It's something that you're going to accept. But it's going to shine from the inside and be attracted to you. It's going to be your beautiful resource. So I love that the Seven of Earth's coming in again. The Andean Cross. Gorgeous. So again, I think we're dealing with... Um, Again, it's a, the four directions. You've had it, you started with it here, 
with the medicine wheel and again you have the four directions it's it's saying tapping into that magic okay the upper lower worlds, the steps to reach the realms, the hole in the center is a gateway to interdimensional travel, the proverbial eye of the needle we can all go through to experience higher state of awareness and wisdom to break free of linear time and linear feelings. Okay, the outward feelings that I am valued because somebody says they love me. No, I'm valued because I am love. I am love. Okay? We fool ourselves into thinking we need to receive it and that it's it's that's the way it is. We are love. We are love. It is the one most beautiful feeling resembling that peaceful state of spirit. Okay? It closely resembles that realm of pure peace that we go to. So, please don't ever think for one moment that you are not loved. First, you are love. So it's an impossibility for you not to feel love unless you stop it. So we're going to look at this this week. I think they're really focusing on love as the week goes on. Because they want you to have tools. So I don't want any comments this week. If nobody loves me, I'm all alone. Okay? No. No, 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 no. No. If you say that, it is because you are making yourself believe it. You are telling yourself that lie. You are love. And for those of you who are listening to this, and I can already feel the sparks of recognition, as in you are already feeling that coming out of you, I can feel it. Even though I recorded this ahead of time, I can feel it. I can feel the love coming out from you. It's not intense, but you see it. You are starting to realize what that means. You're going to feel very good, and it's only going to get better. The more you open the gateways and see everything for what it is, the closer you are going to get to feeling a bliss, a sense of bliss that just will be part of your being. We just have to remind ourselves all the time. That's it. What I wanted to do this week, and it's because I had somebody recommend it, they were saying, um, I and on my membership page, I was talking about how to use cards to do pathway work. In other words, pull one card and let yourself be pulled into that card and see what comes out. So I'm going to do it with you this week. Instead of pulling the three cards like I did, I'm going to pull one card and we're going to look at what the um, the pathway has to say for it. <laughs> All right, Pisces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you closer. Let's take a look at this beautiful card. So I'm going to ask you to look at what you see with everything that I've told you this week. First of all, it is so beautifully apparent that the power within you is there. It is glowing. It is starting to show up. I want you to breathe in that beautiful light. What I told you about, what I was saying just a minute ago, that is starting to unleash, to come to the surface. You're starting to feel that beautiful energy. One that puts you up above the rest. One that doesn't have any problems with the outside world because it resides from the inside. Okay? There you go. Look at that sense of peace and beauty and love. Completely vibing with the energies that is coming. You're starting to feel them. Do you see the energies around here? You see these coming in? Look how beautiful that is, Pisces. 
You see those sticks here at the bottom? Those wands? One trying to pierce the bubble? It doesn't matter. You are becoming your very own superpower. You're even floating up above the ground. I love this. This is you coming into your power. Getting stronger. You're meeting those challenges. And maybe you might have had a lack of faith in yourself, but that is no longer what is going to be with you. You're going to attract the power that you want by being the power that you want. You're going to retrieve those parts of you that you have been overlooking, not paying attention to, that you've been thought weren't there. This is going to be a good week for you, Pisces. Feel the energy. Feel the power in this pose. In this beautiful meditative lady telling you that you've always had the power. You just need to cultivate it, nurture it, take care of it. Bring it to the surface. Inspire yourself. to really take the challenge, to begin to accept that energy. All right, my beautiful ones. So that's it. I will see you this week for all the readings. I am sending you love, light, and blessings. And I hope to see you tomorrow and the day after and the day after. Take care. Bye for now.